Six deaths in this country now linked to swine flu. The latest fatality, a 55-year-old assistant school principal from Queens. He died Sunday after battling the virus for a week. There have now been 5,000 cases reported in the United States. Worldwide, nearly 9,000 people. And health experts still not officially calling it a pandemic. Kitty Pilgrim with our report. Traditional flu season is over, but swine flu seems to be spreading at a great rate. Suddenly today in New York City, St. David's, a private school, closed after 12% of its 400 students reported flu-like symptoms. In New York City, 11,000 students stayed home. 16 public schools closed. But incredibly, Mayor Bloomberg says you can't wall yourself off and will only close schools on a case-by-case -case basis. That despite the advice of his city health commissioner, who will soon be the head of the Centers for Disease Control. I've asked the question, what would you do, uh, Dr. Frieden, if you wanted to prevent the uh, spread of flu among the entire student population? And the answer is close the schools for a month, prohibit all interaction between kids outside of school, and even then, there's no guarantee that you would do that. The mayor's office defended itself against charges it acted too slowly to close the schools down. Mitchell Weiner, a school administrator, died Sunday. The mayor closed the school shortly after he was hospitalized Thursday. He had an underlying condition, the mayor's office said, but would not confirm details. With more than 5,000 cases now in the United States, swine flu has hit 48 states and contributed to six deaths. Dr. Vincent Racaniello of Columbia Medical, one of the top scientists in the country, says this strain has not been seen before. This strain is different because it is spreading and it's spreading globally, as you know. The real concern is that most people are not going to be immune to it, so many people will be infected. Some virologists are concerned it could mutate by the traditional fall season. Now, the head of the World Health Organization today held a press conference refusing to raise the level above a level five and uh, are just below declaring a pandemic. They say it would stay at that time for the time being, Lou. Uh, level five. Uh, w and level five is supposed to be the level at which they're about to declare a pandemic. A pandemic we know, we know for a, a couple of facts. We know that health agencies are not reporting. Uh, the number of cases accurately, not even close. We know that uh, the, the cases are not being uh, screened to determine whether or not, in many cases, uh, this is swine flu. Uh, th this is peculiar, and in all of the fatalities, there's been, it seems, almost a concerted effort to say there was a pre-existing condition. Uh, this becomes, in and of itself, suspect what is going on here? Well, you know, it, they're telling me that you cannot, they're not testing for this widespread testing. There is, that's just not going on. And also, they, so many people are just not being tested. They think it's just normal flu. And so you have a lot of cases that are not being reported at all. So you could have many, many more cases out and there. And the only reason one could imagine that would be the case is that they don't want to report higher numbers. Yeah. Yet at the same time, every infectious disease expert with whom we've spoken here has said it is... Yes. A pandemic. They have. And, you know, they say flu, uh, reporting flu-like symptoms. Well, it seems to me that they should be testing these flu-like symptoms to see which kind of flu these yeah. people have. And we still are contending with the, uh, this sort of uh, reflexive political correctness of a number of news organizations going with H1N1 instead of the swine flu. Bizarre, since that's not a distinction at all from the seasonal flu. Uh, influenza A, h one and why. Right. Uh, we'll continue to call it swine flu here, right. just as is most of the civilized world. Uh, thank you very much, Kitty. The swine flu outbreak began, of course, in Mexico. Dozens of people were killed there. More than 70 deaths worldwide have been reported uh, as the result of swine flu. And as of today, the virus has sickened more than 8,800 people in 40 countries, according to some WHO estimates. They are that. A federal judge has awarded, by the way, five illegal alien farm workers in Colorado almost $8 million.